Put your hands together and welcome Michael Bogart from Aspect Ministry. Hey. How you doing, Hi, Michael? Good. How are you? Welcome back. Thank you very much. How Always good to be here. <laughs> Always good having you. Um, we uh, first, first let's, uh, for the guests who have not, uh, for the people who have who are watching right now and not familiar, tell us a little bit about Michael Bogart and my Aspect Ministry. Well, uh, I started Aspect Ministries probably about four years ago. Uh, I'd been a pastor for many, many years. I was a pastor down in Lemoore, California, you know, just south of Fresno. Yes. And, uh, and then I was a, on a church staff here in Fresno for a number of years. And I also did a lot of training in developing countries. I'd trained Christian leaders and pastors and so forth in, in Africa and in Caribbean, Latin America, places like that. So I started this nonprofit about four years ago to, to do a couple things. One is to continue that training and expand it. Mm -hmm. And then the other is to, to, do a, a, to reach a particular niche in American society. And that is, we're losing our millennials. We're losing our right. young people out of, out of Christianity. And, and, well, young people are dropping out of religion entirely, right. but, but in, in Christianity as well. And so one of the things that I like to, to do is to help churches and Christians figure out how you, how you connect with those younger people. And what have, what steps, what have, what have you discovered is the best way or what's working best for you with Aspect Ministries? You know what, I think the one thing that many millennials lacked growing up was a sort of a relationship with an older person. You know, our generation gave the millennials all this stuff and made sure they went to dance and football and right. soccer and you know, all that kind of stuff. What sometimes happened is they didn't get the relationship with the older generation. And so what I think, at least in my experience, what seems to be working is if older people will sort of take younger people under their wing and just kind of be authentic Christians, you know, and let them decide from there, you know. Because some of them have never seen authentic Christianity up, up close and personal in a real human being. All they've heard is the words. And so right. it's easy to reject words. It's harder to reject somebody that seems to have a real experience. Yeah, I think it's not <laughs> just um, in Christian. I think it's in our society today, the, the disconnection between the younger and the older generation. Because a lot of things that are okay now was never okay oh, that's for back sure. when we were kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I think that just sharing that knowledge and those experiences and having that foundation is definitely a great help and benefit. And actually, that you're walking Christianity as well, but just in our society, period. Now, you, you say you um, travel globally yeah. to help. To, tell us about that experience. Oh, my goodness. It was a life changer. You know, I spent 18 years as a pastor in Lemoore, you know, kind of a small town, military people in and out. Great experience there. I'm, I'm not faulting that at all. But after that was over, I was able to, to travel into many developing parts of the world. Haiti I've been to a number of times. One was right after that last earthquake they had a number of years ago. That was wow. really something. And, and, to, and Central Africa, you know. I have found that, that um, some of the most authentic Christians I've ever met are from these countries. The Haitian Christians, the Africans, the, the Latin American Christians. I found out that uh, there's more than one way to look at a biblical passage. And I mean, we Americans Definitely. think, you know, we've, we've got this nailed down. This is how you understand it. And I'm not saying that Christian doctrine changes, but the way you look at a passage is somewhat cultural. And, and to sit down, for example, with a Congolese Christian and look at a, a Bible passage, they'll come up with stuff that I never would have thought of. It never would have occurred to me because wow. I'm not seeing it from that cultural point of view. When, I'll just give you an example. You know, and I don't know how much time we have, but um, you know, you read in the Old Testament like Jacob. You, you know the story about Jacob. Okay. Okay, he had to uh, he had to pay a bride price for his wife Rachel. Okay, Americans know nothing about that. At I mean, all. <laughs> I mean, it's like you know, it, we do it so differently. And you sit down with an African, and they, they know all about bride price because they still have to pay it. Wow. And so that you know, they explain to me, well, it's not that he's buying her. It's that he has to compensate the family for taking a valuable family member out of their economy. Wow. You know, and I'm going, well, gosh, thanks for, you know, you taught me. I came to teach you and you taught me. So it's stuff like that. And it's on, on different cultures. What's, and, and not just in Africa, but what about any other cultures that you've taught in? Well, same thing in Mexico. I mean, the, the, the Mexican Christians or the Latin American Christians, they'll see things in the biblical text that Americans wouldn't see because our culture just blinds us to those things. Or, or, or we just don't pick up on those things. We skip over, you know how the mind skips over what right, it doesn't understand? Right. And so to me, the most valuable thing in my experience was to study the Bible across cultures and we, we teach each other. I mean, you, you can see, you know, sometimes when I'll make a point okay. and the, the some Christian from another culture, the, the light bulb will go on, they go, oh, 
Now I get that. But the same things happen the other direction. Right. They'll say something and I'll think, I never would have thought of that. But that's absolutely correct. So it's an exchange instead absolutely, of just one way. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's the thing about the, the you know, Christianity is a global thing. I mean, we think of it as a North American thing. It's not. We're losing ground in North America in terms of Christian population. Wow. But it's been more than make up for in, in Asia, in Sub-Saharan Africa. Latin America is just exploding. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's the neat thing. I think that's the role for American Christianity in the future is to facilitate the, the parts of the church that we can facilitate, but also to be benefited and blessed by them. Incredible. I know we just uh, got a little bit of time left. Before we do get out of here, let's discuss a couple of the books that you brought with you today. Well, one of the things that through this global experience that I've had, I've had the opportunity to teach the Bible in um, a lot of different cultures. And so I've, I've sort of pilot tested my short 45 <laughs> minute, you know, the Bible literally in 45 wow. minutes in a lot of different cultural settings. And, and I've kind of found out what works and what doesn't work across cultures. And so I put this book together partly as the fruit of that. And, uh, and I've got a video also that's called the 45 minute Bible. You can get it on Amazon or you can get it at my website. And it really does give you at least the gist or the, the big picture view of the Bible in about 45 minutes. Uh, help a lot of people who don't want to sit down. And, I mean, that's just the introduction, well, though. That's that, not the... <laughs> oh, no, I mean, you, you don't get the full effect, but at least it's it's a nice doorway into the book. Well, I'll tell you what, we, um, I, we, we have you here every week. We really appreciate you being a sponsor on our show, so we will have you back next week. But right now, before we get out of here, can you let them know how they can contact you or where they can find more of your books that you read? Sure. Aspectministries.com, A-S-P-E-C-T, ministries.com. And uh, you can go to the products tab on our page and you can order any of these DVDs or books and or you can contact us and we'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Michael, it's always great having you on the show. Another round of applause for Michael Bogart from Aspect Ministries. You guys don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back, welcome back to my conversation, my Central Valley, K-A-I-L. Um, the list of great guests keeps going. Uh, please put your hands together and welcome Jay from Central Valley Coupon. How are you doing? Doing great, thanks for having me down. Thanks for coming on, man. Um, I was here earlier before we started uh, the show and got a chance to flip through the pages of the coupon book. To first, tell us about Shop Local, your coupon book. Shop Local is a brand new coupon book that just came out about two or three months ago. And we had a few simple ideas in mind. Uh, first, we wanted to be able to find a way for just the general consumer to learn more about businesses that are locally owned and locally operated here in the Fresno and Clovis area. You know, because at times it's a little bit difficult to tell. I, right, I mean, obviously right. you got places like Walmart and Costco that you know are major chains, but with our book, you know, we're looking at you know some small owned franchises. We got some mom and pop shops, and we just right. want to be able to direct the community to those places. So our book features over a hundred different locally owned and operated companies. Uh, and on top of that, we're also raising money for Valley Children's Hospital through to, through book sales as well. So our goal over the next year and a half is to be able to help raise them about $15,000 through book sales. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's it's awesome. a definitely a huge goal that we're trying to hit. That's a lot of sales for $15,000. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of books to move, uh, you know, but I genuinely feel that this book is so much different than everything else out there right now. And we've made it absolutely packed with huge deals from cover to cover. Uh, the first 15 pages alone contain over $300 worth of absolutely free offers. You literally, Incredible. yeah, you just take the coupon out, That's enough you bring right it there, in, right? it is, and, and you get something free right away. We got free food, we got free service, entertainment, retail, training if you're into exercise, we got a little bit of everything in there for free. And then the rest of the book, it features thousands of dollars worth of exclusive deals. And when I say exclusive, I really mean it. These aren't the deals that you can go online and just print out or you're gonna find in the paper. These businesses have literally signed agreements with us to not use these deals anywhere else for the next year and a half. So wow. you can only get them here. Yeah, so wow. it's very, that, very that unique. right there enough. Yeah, so you, you know, you, you're gonna see some places, you know, put their coupons out online. You're gonna see like a 10% off. Our deals are 
beyond that. Uh, yeah, I can, I can I can attest that I was flipping through the pages and I'm like, okay, there's a lot you get just in the first couple of pages. Now, I got how did you get started with the coupon book? What made you go ahead in that direction? You know, uh, with all the businesses that I've done, I've always looked for holes within the marketplace uh, where I felt there was room for improvement, where I felt more could be done. And I love the competitors in the area. There's other options out there as far as right. coupon books are concerned, but we really did check off a lot of the boxes where I felt there was holes in the market. You know, we, we run a very compact size on our product. You know, I heard from so many women especially that the, the larger books that are out there, they just don't fit right, in their purse. Right. So they forget to bring it with them. You know, uh, we went around to a lot of the businesses that were featured in other books and they didn't have stickers on the front of the windows. So people would forget mm -hmm. to bring their coupons in with them. So we have all of our businesses, you got stickers on the front doors, little visual indicators. Uh, and then we just produced a very high quality product with free stuff in it. You know, you open up other books and there's just nothing free That's in the there. Win right there. Yeah, right. <laughs> and we just want people to be able to buy one, say, okay, great, I'm happy I helped the hospital. Now, how quickly can I make my $40 back? You know, you make it back in <laughs> one coupon and now how much money am I going to save for the next year and a half? And that's our other big thing. Right. It's actually good until the end of 2018. So you Not got a full year. year and a half. Yeah, full year and a half to enjoy the product. So one of the longest burn times of any coupon book out there. Okay, now with the with the benefit of Valley Children's, I mean, what inspired you to go ahead and move in that direction to help uh, Valley Children's? Uh, it, it's almost a no-brainer. You know, when you think about uh, long-standing organizations that have done huge impacts here within the Valley, Valley Children's is one of the ones at the top of the list. Uh, yeah. we're, we're not even limiting ourselves to that. We have future plans of working with organizations like uh, Pavarello House, uh, okay. Fresno Wildlife Rescue. You know, we want to be able to branch out and do as much good as absolutely possible. Oh, that's, 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 that's always a help when you can go ahead and give back. And you yourself, uh, knowing these businesses and other organizations, because you're all, are you from Fresno, correct? Yes, born and raised. Born and raised. Yeah. I know we spoke a little bit about that before we uh, started shooting. And um, the difference is, you, you touched on it earlier, as far as a local business, something that is specifically here. Mm -hmm. And I know flipping through the pages, man, you have a little bit of everything in your book. Now, what are some of the highlights that you know that everybody go for in your book? Uh, you know, some of the big ones that I see in there is like the Chico's. We have the Chico's in Old Town mm. Clovis. Right now with our coupon, you can get buy one spaghetti dinner with meatballs, I believe, get a second one free and get a free half order of cheese bread on top. That means two people are going to go eat. You're going to spend maybe nine, ten bucks and you're going to get a full meal out of it. You it's know? a good date. Yeah, great date. And then, <laughs> and, and then we got some great ones in there for the parents. We get a lot of parents that contact us after they got the book and tell us how much money they saved. We have one in there for the little gym, which is a gym specific specifically for children, you can get two free weeks worth of classes for your kids, and that's a $50 value on its own. So th some of the deals in there, they're just such a great value. It, it's, it's practically a no-brainer. You know, we, we, uh, we announced and started taking online orders the other day, and they're starting to funnel in, and people are really going through. We can see how many people are flipping through the whole book wow. online, seeing how much money they're going to save, and they're, they're making those orders right away after they take the time to go through it. And what's great that I noticed about the book is you have a range of all businesses, not just a certain location. You got Fresno covered, so no matter where you are. It's not just Fresno, it's Fresno and Clovis. So we the entire way through and through. Oh, yeah. And then we even have a business in there uh, up at Bass Lake. We have Miller's Landing, who's also a friend of the show as well, and we have a discount in there for boat rentals. So even if you're gonna be doing a little bit of traveling to one of Fresno's yeah. best locations uh, right out of town, you're gonna save a little bit of money there too. Yeah. Man, that, that's... <laughs> okay, now I got it. How many businesses are in the book? Yeah, so we have over 100 businesses featured in the book, and we have a total of, I believe, about 110 offers. Uh, and if, if you're looking to get one of these two, we, we have a special thing going on. I haven't even told you about it. I haven't told Casey about it. Uh, oh. We're going to be at the Clovis Farmer's Market, not uh, this Friday and next Friday, just depending on uh, uh, when you catch the show. But if you come down there and you mention that you saw me on KAIL, on my conversation, we're going to offer an exclusive buy one, get one free. For the first time ever, we're going to be offering that deal. You just got to mention that you saw us on the show. Well, that's a deal and a half right you, there. You can't beat that. That's, two, that's like two <laughs> Christmas gifts in one. Start giving them out to the friends and family. I'll tell you what, I'm sold on it. Before we get out of here, let them know how they can find Shop Local, the coupon book, and more information. You, you can find us everywhere. We're available in over 20 retail stores right now. Fresno Ag, New Nail Creations, Spot Us Pizza. We have a full list available on our website. It's uh, www.facebook.com backslash Central Valley Coupon. And if you're looking to get in touch directly with me, whether it be for a fundraiser, if you want to do a little charity drive, you just want to get the deals exclusive or take advantage of that buy one, get one, you can call me directly, 473 9015.
Jay, thank you so much for being a sponsor and a guest on our show. Another round of applause for Jay from Central Valley Coupon. We got a little bit more of my conversation right after this. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to My Conversation, right here on My Central Valley, K-A-I-L, Feather the Wise here, and our next guest is, uh, I was so happy to get him on the show when he accepted the uh, offer and invitation, man, is, well, we'll get to that right now, why don't you just put your hands together and welcome Mr. Mike Bowie from Red Carpet yep. Car Wash. Thank you, appreciate that. How you doing? Good. Very good. Now, you see me all smiles and stuff, a lot of people out there who know me know me, um, who actually know me, I know that years ago, once upon a time, I worked at Red Carpet. <laughs> That's great. Uh, and it was some of the most fun times I have had on a job. The stories I can't tell right now. But enough of that about me. I'm just glad you're on the show. Uh, Thank you. First of all, uh, how long has Red Carpet been around? Well, my grandfather uh, founded it in 1965. Uh, before that, he owned and built and operated the Whirlwind Car Wash, which is downtown. Uh, which is still in operation. I did not know that. Yep. <laughs> yep. So he was one of the you know, one of the first people to ever build a full service car wash in the Central Valley. Wow. And uh, since then, my uh, uncle uh, took over, and, and my aunts came into the business. And then, um, the early, or about around 2000, I was fortunate enough to come up and join myself. That is absolutely not, it's everywhere you look, man, it seemed like, well, not so many, but you, the red carpet name stands out when it comes down to car wash. I mean, you guys have built the standard for car washes. Now, we had a couple of pictures up, and it's not just red carpet, you also have the, what is that, Ride and Shines? The Ride and Shines, yep. Now, how did, it's not a you know rocket science, but how did that get started with the family to start the Ride and Shines? Well, 